I can't swim and the creatures on this list are probably why I'll never learn. Today we're covering some scary underwater creatures from the Bermuda Triangle. Number 10, Boulder Star Coral. The first one on our list is terrifying for a different reason than you'd expect. The only endangered coral species in the Bermuda Triangle is unfortunately also one of the most important in terms of reef building. The Boulder Star Coral, which sprouts from closely packed nodules and develops into thick, wide columns or bulky boulders is the foundation on which a thriving reef is built. Growing up to 40% larger than other coral species, infectious disease, human interference, and hurricane damage have decreased the Boulder Star coral population by an estimated 50% since the 1990s. What's terrifying is that we might see the extinction of a coral that provides reef building attributes to its environment. Number 9, Moray Eels. Moray Eels are elongated fish with scaleless bodies and large mouths filled with sharp teeth. They come in various species, with the green moray being one of the most common in tropical waters. Moray eels are ambush predators that often hide in crevices or holes in reefs, waiting for prey to pass by. They primarily feed on fish and crustaceans. While they may look menacing, moray eels typically avoid confrontations with humans unless provoked. Moray eels can deliver a painful bite if threatened or provoked. Their mouths are filled with sharp teeth, as I stated, and they have a very powerful bite force. However, attacks on humans are rare and usually occur when divers attempt to handle or feed them. Number 8, Lionfish. Lionfish are visually striking fish characterized by their vibrant colors and venomous spines. They belong to the family Scorpanidae and are native to the Indo-Pacific region. Lionfish are opportunistic predators that feed on small fish and crustaceans. They use their venomous spines for defense against predators and competition for resources. Lionfish are known for their rapid reproduction rates and ability to outcompete native species. Lionfish stings can cause intense pain, swelling, and other symptoms in humans. While rarely fatal, stings should be treated promptly to alleviate discomfort and reduce the risk of complications. Number 7, Box Jellyfish. Box jellyfish belong to the class Cubozoa and are characterized by their cube-shaped bells and long trailing tentacles. They are found in tropical and subtropical waters worldwide. Box jellyfish are highly venomous and possess specialized stinging cells called nematocysts on their tentacles. They use those tentacles to capture prey and defend against predators. Box jellyfish are active swimmers and may deliver potent stings to humans accidentally. Box jellyfish stings can cause severe pain, skin necrosis, respiratory distress, and in rare cases, demise. Prompt medical treatment is essential for managing symptoms and preventing complications. Applications. Number 6, Sea Snakes. Sea snakes are venomous marine reptiles belonging to the family Elapidae. They are adapted to life in the ocean and are found in tropical waters around the world. Sea snakes are highly adapted to their aquatic environment, with flattened tails for swimming and valved nostrils for breathing while submerged. They primarily feed on fish and other small marine animals. Sea snakes are generally shy and will avoid humans if possible. Sea snake venom can be highly potent, however, capable of causing paralysis and respiratory failure in humans. However, sea snake bites are rare as these reptiles are typically docile and only bite when threatened or mishandled. But just imagine, a sea snake bites you and now you're paralyzed in the water. That spells disaster. Number 5, Barracudas. Barracudas are predatory fish found in tropical and subtropical waters worldwide. They are known for their torpedo-shaped bodies, prominent jaws filled with sharp teeth, of course, and fast swimming speeds. Barracudas are opportunistic predators that prey on smaller fish and squid. They are often found near coral reefs, seagrass beds, and other underwater structures where prey is abundant. Barracudas may exhibit curiosity towards shiny objects or reflective surfaces. While barracudas rarely pose a threat to humans, they have been known to bite if provoked or if mistaken for food. Barracuda bites can cause lacerations and puncture wounds which may require medical attention. Number 4, Giant Squid. Archituthis ducks are deep sea cephalopods that inhabit the world's oceans, including the waters of the Bermuda Triangle. They are among the largest invertebrates on Earth, with eyes the size of dinner plates and tentacles equipped with suction cups and shark hooks. Giant squid are elusive creatures that primarily inhabit the deep ocean, where they hunt for fish and other cephalopods. They are capable of rapid color changes and bioluminescence, which they use for communication and camouflage. While encounters with giant squid are 
rare, their immense size and powerful tentacles could pose a danger if provoked. However, giant squid are generally not aggressive towards humans and prefer to avoid confrontation when possible. I mean, even though they don't really prey towards humans or anything, if I saw one of these in the water, I would need a weapon. Number three, manta rays. Manta rays are large, majestic, cartilaginous fish belonging to the genus Manta. They are known for their distinctive diamond-shaped bodies, wing-like pictorial fins, and graceful swimming patterns. Manta rays are filter feeders, primarily consuming plankton and small fish. They are often found in tropical and subtropical waters, including the Bermuda Triangle, where they inhabit coral reefs and other productive marine environments. Manta rays are generally docile and pose no threat to humans. While manta rays are not dangerous to humans, their sheer size and power should be respected. Divers should maintain a safe distance and avoid touching or disturbing these gentle giants to prevent accidental injury to themselves or the rays. Number two, the Goliath grouper. The Goliath grouper, or Epinephalus itajara, is a large species of grouper native to the western Atlantic Ocean, including the waters of the Bermuda Triangle. It is one of the largest bony fish in the world, capable of reaching lengths exceeding 8 feet or 2.5 meters and weighs up to 800 pounds or 360 kilograms. For reference, that's like four of me. Goliath groupers inhabit shallow coastal waters, reefs, and shipwrecks, where they feed on a variety of prey, including fish, crustaceans, and octopuses. Number one, Atlantic Spadefish. The Atlantic spadefish, or Catodipturus faber, is a species of marine fish belonging to the family belonging to the family Ephipidae. It is characterized by its distinctive body shape, which resembles that of a spade or diamond, and its bold black and white coloration. Atlantic spadefish are typically found in shallow coastal waters, including around reefs, wrecks, and jetties. They feed primarily on small invertebrates, algae, and plankton. Atlantic spadefish often form large schools, making them a common sight for divers and snorkelers. Atlantic spadefish are not considered dangerous to humans and are generally timid and non-aggressive. However, like any marine creature, they should be treated with respect and divers should avoid harassing or provoking them to prevent any potential defensive responses. That's our list. I was your host Yusuf. Give us a follow if you want to keep exploring the world with us and we hope you have a fantastic day. Peace out.